Hey guys, it's Storm Ranger, and in this video, I'm going over how to complete the brand new Season 9 Overtime Challenges fast. And there are a lot of really hard overtime challenges, ranging from challenges that require you to dance inside of a holographic Duraburger head, score a goal, an indoor soccer pitch, and even deal 2500 damage to opponents with different weapons. And the Season 9 Overtime Challenges have a lot of very cool rewards, including a total of 50,000 bonus XP you can get for your overall level, along with limited edition variants of the Bunker Jonesy, Strata, and Demi skins. So because of that, in this video, I'm going over my best advice for how you can complete all of these challenges and more. So definitely make sure that you watch this video until the very end so you can complete all of these challenges as fast as possible. And if you want help on only one challenge in particular, I will have time to what part of the video I'll go over each and every one of these challenges in the description down below. And of course, credit to lucas 7 yoshi on Twitter for leaking the overtime challenges in advance. This video is in fact pre-recorded, so I can get this video out to you guys the moment the overtime challenges get released. And without lucas 7 yoshi I wouldn't have been able to make this video, so if you haven't already, go make sure to go check him out on Twitter. Anyways, really quickly before we get into everything, I'd like to remind you all to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you're new around here. This video took me so much work to make, all for 100% free to you guys, so if you could at least please subscribe, that would be awesome. We just hit 7,000 subscribers, thank you so much by the way, and it is a dream of mine to hit 100,000 subscribers, so if you could please subscribe, that would be fantastic. In addition, please leave a like on this video and help this video get seen by more people. Once again, it took me forever, and I would really appreciate it if you could like the video so you can help me get this video out to as many people as possible. And last but not least, make sure you just go to Storms and Fortnite Item Shop if you want to support the channel. I'm a really small YouTuber, so you guys using my code helps me out significantly more than it would help out a larger YouTuber when you're using their code. Anyways, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get right into this video. So once again, on screen now, you can see all of the Season 9 Overtime Challenges and what they are. The first challenge will award you 15,000 XP if you're able to complete every single one of the Overtime Challenges. 15,000 XP is a decent amount of XP, so definitely make sure that you watch this video until the very end so you learn how to complete all the Overtime Challenges so you can get that bonus 15,000 XP. Anyways, for the next three Overtime Challenges, you must own the Season 9 Battle Pass. These challenges are split up into two different stages and will award you limited edition variants of the Battle Pass skins Bunker Jonesy, Strata, and Demi if you're able to complete these challenges. Now for all three of these challenges, the first stage requires you to get to a certain Battle Pass tier. That is because you first must own the skin whose limited style you're trying to unlock before you can try and unlock the limited style. For example, for the Bunker Jonesy challenges, you must first hit tier 23 before you can try and unlock the limited variant and that is because at tier 23, you unlock the Bunker Jonesy outfit. Now for the second stage of all of these skins, you must complete three overtime challenges. For the Bunker Jonesy, you must complete three of these challenges. For the Strata, you must complete six of these challenges. And finally for the Demi, you must complete nine of these challenges. But since you need to complete three overtime challenges in order to unlock these variants, I'll be going over all nine of the free overtime challenges now. So on screen now you can see what all the free overtime challenges are. These challenges are work together with friends to get 25 eliminations, deal 2500 damage to opponents with shotguns, visit Loot Lake, Polar Peak, and Pressure Plant, revive a friend in three different matches, deal 2500 damage to opponents using assault rifles, dance inside of a holographic Durburger head, place top 15 in duos or squads with a friend five different times, deal 2500 damage to opponents using SMGs, and finally to score a goal in an indoor soccer pitch. Now later on in this video, we're going over how to complete each of these challenges individually. However, before that, we'll be going over some advice that applies to all of these challenges. Anyways, a lot of these challenges require you to play Fortnite with your friends, and even more challenges require you to deal damage with a certain weapon. Now because of that, I highly recommend for these challenges that you go into a game of Team Rumble with your friends. And if you don't have any friends to play with, you can always make friends in the comments down below. And of course, in order to help your comment be seen by others, I will be hearting all the comments that I see of people who are looking for friends to play with. Also, when you're playing with your friends, make sure that you're using Party Assist. Out of all of these challenges, the three that require to deal damage to opponents literally suggest in their name to use Party Assist. With Party Assist, when your friend does something that will lead to the completion of one of your challenges that you have Party Assist toggled for, you will get credit for your friend's action. Now since you can only use Party Assist on one challenge at a time, make sure that you and your friend discuss which challenge each of you will have Party Assist on and which challenge each of you will be trying to complete. Now, regarding the challenges that require to deal damage with a particular weapon, I suggest that you do one of either two things. If you don't think you can deal 2500 damage within a single game of Team Rumble with a particular weapon, then enable Party Assist on that challenge so your friends can help you. However, if you think you can deal 2500 damage within a single game of Team Rumble with a particular weapon, then enable Party Assist on a different challenge that not you, but your friends are trying to complete. That way, you'll be able to complete two of the deal damage to opponents with different weapons challenges in a single match, even if you are only focusing on using a certain weapon to deal damage to opponents. And trust me, you'll need to do this, as 2500 damage 
is a lot and can be hard to complete within a single match of Team Rumble. Now that you understand the importance of playing with friends and the crucial part that it contributes to you completing all these challenges, I will now be going over each of the free challenges individually and my best advice for how you complete them. So the first challenge requires you to work together with friends to get 25 eliminations. And if you can complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 2,500 XP. Now my advice for this challenge is of course to head into a game of Team Rumble with your friends as it's a lot easier to kill opponents in a game of Team Rumble. Then while playing Team Rumble, make sure to stick close to your friends when trying to kill opponents. As long as I'm assuming both of you tag the opponent at least once before either one of you kill them, then that kill should contribute to completion of this challenge. Also when completing this challenge, make sure that you have party assist on for this challenge. So no matter who gets the elimination on the opponent that both of you and your friend are trying to fight, you'll both be credited with the elimination towards your challenge. Anyways, as long as you follow my advice, this challenge should be made a lot, lot easier. So the second challenge is a very straightforward challenge as we kinda already went over it. And this challenge is to deal 2,500 damage to opponents with shotguns and you'll be rewarded 2,500 XP if you were able to complete this challenge. This challenge should be very easy as long as you go into a game of Team Rumble and focus on using shotguns in that game. And if you're with your friends, don't forget to talk a party assist on for either this challenge or another deal damage challenge. Anyways, as long as you do this, this challenge should be very easy for you to complete and you should easily be able to get yourself a bonus 2,500 XP. So the third challenge is a very easy challenge and this challenge requires you to visit Loot Lake, Polar Peak, and Pressure Plant. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded a really cool loading screen. Now, since all these locations are named locations, when you hit the map button in a game of Fortnite, you'll be able to see exactly where you should visit for this challenge. All you need to do is jump into a game of solos, then land at these locations, and afterwards leave the game. Just do this for all three of these locations, and once you have done that, you will have completed this challenge and earn yourself a very cool loading screen. So the fourth challenge is slightly harder, and this challenge requires you to revive a friend in three different matches. And if you can complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 5,000 XP. Now, this challenge is very easy. Just jump into a game of duos with one of your friends and then land somewhere where nobody else is landing. Then have your teammate jump off of a high structure and get knocked so you can revive them. And of course, if your teammate is looking to complete this challenge too, make sure to do the same thing for them. After doing all of that in one game, just do the same exact thing in two more games. Anyways, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all. And as long as you complete this challenge, you should be able to get yourself a bonus 5,000 XP. So the fifth challenge is another very straightforward challenge. For this challenge, all you need to do is deal 2,500 damage to opponents with an assault rifle. And of course, you'll be rewarded 5,000 XP if you're able to complete this challenge. Now this challenge is very easy as long as you're playing Team Rumble and focusing on using assault rifles in that game of Team Rumble. And of course, if you're playing with your friends, make sure you use party assist for either that challenge or another deal damage challenge. Anyways, this challenge should be very easy as long as you do this. So the sixth challenge is easy as long as you know where to go. And this challenge is to dance inside a holographic door burger head. And to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded one very neat loading screen. Now this challenge is actually from one of the previous sets of weekly challenges. So I'm sure that a lot of you already know exactly where to dance. However, in case you skipped this challenge, or you just forgot where to dance, I will of course be going over what to do now. And the holographic Durburger head that this challenge is referring to is the holographic Durburger head which is located on top of one of the skyscrapers over at Neo Tilted. On screen now you can see exactly where it looks like. All you have to do is in a game of Fortnite, land inside of the head, and then simply dance. As long as you do this, you should easily be able to complete this challenge and get yourself this really cool loading screen. Now the seventh challenge is a little bit harder. And this challenge requires you to place top 15 in duos or squads with a friend five different times. And if you complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10,000 XP. Now for this challenge, I recommend that you try and complete it in squads because in a game of squads, there's usually roughly 25 squads versus duos where you can expect for there to be roughly 50 duos. So because of that, it shouldn't be too difficult placing top 15 in a game of squads compared to duos. Now regarding actually playing the game, you can either do one of two things, either camp the whole game and try and play top 15, or just go into a game of squads on Phil and let your teammates do all the work and just be AFK. However, whatever you do, just make sure that you're playing with a friend. Anyways, this challenge should be made a lot easier as long as you follow my advice. And as long as you complete this challenge and of course follow my advice, you should easily be able to get yourself a bonus 10,000 XP. Now the eighth challenge is the final deal damage challenge. And for this challenge, you must deal 2,500 damage with SMGs to opponents. And of course, you'll be rewarded 10,000 XP if you were able to complete this challenge. Now this challenge should be very easy as long as you remember to play in Team Rumble with your friends and use party assist on either that challenge or another deal damage challenge. 
Anyways, as long as you follow my advice, of course this challenge should be very easy, and you should easily be able to get yourself a bonus 10,000 XP. Now the ninth and final challenge is a lot easier than the previous two challenges, and this challenge is to score a goal on an indoor soccer pitch. And of course, you be rewarded the classic Season 9 loading screen if you were able to complete this challenge. And this challenge is referring to the indoor soccer pitch that can be found in the soccer stadium that is west of Neo Tilted and east of Viking Village. All you must do for this challenge is land at this indoor soccer pitch and simply kick the soccer ball into a goal. The soccer ball can be found within the middle of the soccer pitch and you can kick the soccer ball by simply walking into it. Just keep in mind, it's possible that a few others will be trying to complete this challenge at the same time as you. So maybe go into a game of Team Rumble if you're afraid of being killed. Anyways, this challenge is very easy and you should easily be able to complete it and get yourself the classic Season 9 loading screen as long as you know what to do and follow my advice. Now anyways, that has been how to complete all of the overtime challenges in Fortnite Season 9 and oh my gosh, that was a lot. Seriously, you guys have absolutely no idea how much work that this video was. So if you could please, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications, that would be phenomenal. I post videos just like this several times a week. All you need to do is push the button in the bottom right corner of the video. It'll only take you a few seconds. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know with a like rating on this video. If we could hit 250 likes, that would just be awesome and that would just make my day. And last but not least, if you want to support the channel one step further, make sure you use code Storms in Fortnite item shop. Remember, that is with an S at the end. And I'm currently at roughly 100 supporters, and I really want to make that number grow. So if you could please use code STORMS, that would just be amazing. Anyways, with all that being said, that has been how to complete all of the overtime challenges in Fortnite Season 9. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.